Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Now you can see there's quite a lot of boxes next to me here. Now this is a few different brands and today we're just going to focus on some sustainable handbags which I'm very excited to take a look at. But first things first, I thought I would just show off my hair. So it looks like I put my rollers in, but I actually, this was like overnight, I just like rolled a t-shirt up. So um, maybe I'll do a tutorial on it in a few weeks once I get a little bit better at it. But look how, like, I'm so shocked. This was the first time I did it. And I'm actually, I'm kind of obsessed because normally I use heated rollers, but when I'm traveling abroad, they're just a bit bulky to put in a suitcase. So I just was uh, embracing my natural crazy hair, um, which I do love from time to time, but I really fancy just some nice smoother curls and uh, I think it worked. And also this outfit from Urban Revivo, I'll link it down below again. This is from one of my most recent hauls and I've been living in it. I am just in love with it. Like it's my, I think my new favorite piece in my wardrobe. Anyway, let's get on to the bags. So I'm just gonna start at the top of the pile because I think we've got six, six bags to get through. So uh, quite exciting, but I love this green box. So most of them are in these kind of white, like marble effect boxes, but um, this one came in a green one, which my, uh, well, I have quite a few favorite colors, but one of them is definitely green. So I love the box and I love that they're um, nice boxes because they're actually reusable rather than like just recycle them or get rid of them. I like having uh, the boxes as kind of like storage boxes. And so, yeah, when they're, they're this nice, I think it's really, really cool because you actually reuse them, which is the best thing. So this is the first bag. Now they all come in these beautiful dust bags. Like take a look at this. It's literally, I don't know if it'll show up on camera. It's like green and white almost like a silk dust bag. Like, I love that. Now, I'm not really one who keeps my clothes or shoes in dust bags. Like, even some of my more, you know, expensive purchases, I tend to not put them in there. So, I'm not actually sure, like, if you guys know, like, what what is the point of a dust bag apart from to not get them dusty? Is it literally just to remove the dust? Because I, I use them for other things. So, I like to use these as, like, travel bags or things like that to, like, organize my suitcase with. But anyway, I'm rambling. So this is the first one I got, and it's this gorgeous cream, like almost like baguette bag. So it looks like this. So these are all from a brand called JW Pie. I think I'm saying that right. Everything will be linked down below if you'd like to check any of these bags out. And uh, a massive thank you for them as these bags were gifted to me. Um, but I'm obsessed. And they're really cool actually. So they're vegan le leather, so they're not leather, they're like, if they're vegan, how can they be leather? But they're um, sustainably made. So these are made with like um, plastic from recycled plastic bottles and stuff like that. And I just think it's really cool to have bags that have kind of repurposed recycled materials. So I'm trying to get this to not be like glowing white, but you can see it here. And then inside, it's just a really nice size for kind of like phone, wallet, that type of thing. And I love the strap as well, like how, just how cute is that? I love it and I love the shape of it because I've been looking for a nice like white cream bag for a long long time and I think this is a really sweet kind of shape one. So I think in another video I'm gonna do a style lookbook of some sort where I'll incorporate all these bags with a different outfit because just how cute is that? I love the shape of it. Isn't that just gorgeous? Love them. So if you're looking for gifts for a, a significant other or, you know, a friend or something, these bags are really, really lovely. And the quality is amazing. And the prices, they're not actually that um, expensive. Like all of them range from anything from about 40 pounds to about 80 pounds. That's the kind of price range. So they're very reasonably priced and I'm actually very impressed. So we've got another dust bag. Now this one, guys, look. We have a little denim satchel bag. Now I'm obsessed with this. Like I love wearing like really crazy denim outfits and um, I really wanted a bag that kind of just adds to the craziness but is also quite practical. And I love these kind of little satchel bags and look at the weaving of the denim on that. Like, isn't that gorgeous? And now if I, this one has a bit of an unusual class so you have to push it like that and then it just unclicks. Now, it's a little bit stiff, so I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a bit stiff, but that's it's. Uh, I think it will give over time. So all the other, like these ones, they open very nicely. This one's just a little bit rigid, but um, 
It's beautiful nonetheless, and I love the double pocket inside. And this one comes with some stuffing. So yeah, just like that. Like, isn't that just gorgeous? And then the clasp is so, like, it's such a nice clasp. It just literally clicks, clicks. No, it's really, really lovely quality. And I think that, you know, it's got a crossbody strap as well, I believe, somewhere. Where's the crossbody strap? So panic over, I found the strap. So it also comes with a beautiful faux leather kind of cross body strap, or maybe a shoulder strap actually, but it's in the same really gorgeous blue and then it has like gold hardware. So I'm just gonna pop that onto the sides of it. So this is it with the strap on and I just think it's such a lovely length strap because I very rarely wear my bags actually cross body. I always wear them just on one shoulder and I think this is just, it's such a perfect size to just hold everything you need but still be a really cute kind of like little bag. And I like that it's so structured. It takes some getting used to, but it uh, really holds its shape. So I think it will stay exactly like this for a long time. So I really, really like this one and I can't wait to style it with, you know, some of my crazy denim jumpsuits or denim dresses. I'm just hoping that the denim doesn't clash. Like, I'm not sure that's a thing with denim. I think if you're going all denim, just embrace it. So I thought I would just show you the packaging. It's a bit hard to do because it's so white, so my camera's like glaring it, but I hope you guys can kind of see the marble effect. Look at that. It's just really subtle, but it's really nice. And it's just got the logo kind of simple in the middle. And they're just really nice boxes. Like I, I do think I'll try and reuse these. So they just kind of like slide off like that. And then all the bags coming in such lovely kind of dust bags. It just makes it feel like such a special experience and a bit of luxury. But look at that. So it's so nice that they just have all these detailings and then can we just? <laughs> I'm obsessed with the shape of this bag. I've never seen something like it. It's so unusual and the actual color and like croc effect is really gorgeous. Like these are really high quality, especially for faux leather. Like they feel really well made. And I love kind of how unusual this one is. I'm not quite sure how, how do I hold this? Maybe like on my wrist? Oh, I think it's a wrist bag, isn't it? This with like the right outfit. Mm, I think it's going to be a really cool bag. So I am going to try and dig through all my luggage that I've got here and see if I have enough outfits to kind of make a lookbook with these bags um, because they are quite colourful. So we're going to have to see what, see what we can do. Otherwise, I'll wait till I'm back in England. But how gorgeous is that? I'm obsessed with it. And it like, I think to open it, we like open it like this. And then I believe, is it magnetic? So it's got like four zips. And then, yeah, look at that. So it just opens completely up. Let me take all the tissue paper out. And then it's just literally like a bucket bag. And then to put it back up, this kind of rolls in like that. And ta-da! <laughs> you have a really cool bag. Isn't that awesome? No, I love that. So that's that one. I'll just pop it, pop it on the pile over there. Then this is the next one. So this is quite like a, a flat box. So let's see what bag we've got here. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. So this is this uh, kind of gorgeous, almost, it's a very like pale yellow, but it's a beautiful color. I'm trying to see if my, yeah, I think that's doing it justice. So it's got a really nice like magnetic opening. Like that, like they're so, they're so well made these bags. Like they're really, really amazing. I'm very impressed. So we'll take the stuffing up and it's just a lovely kind of cute, cute little summer bag. How cute, I love the handle on it. Like it's almost like a scrunchie and it's that kind of like padded um, puff leather. A bit like uh, I think Coach is doing kind of those like padded cloud bags at the moment. Kind of has that kind of vibe to the fabric, but no, I think that's going to be so lovely in like spring and summertime. How cool is that? No, I love these. These are almost like little pieces of art. Like I feel like I have to have them all displayed somewhere. It's a bit like shoes, really. Just a massive display of them. Now, these are of a different video, so I'll be filming that afterwards. Now, this is the next bag. Oh, it's heavy. It's a nice little box, but it's got some weight to it. So, oh, I, can, I think I know which one this is. It's like a, it feels quite spongy. Let's have a look. 
Dun dun dun. Look at this. So it's this bright green kind of weaved little pouch bag and it's magnetic as well. Like, look at that. I showed this to my mum and she, uh, <laughs> her first thought was, ah, if you put some little like eyelets in it, it'll be a perfect sofa. So yeah, but I, I still love it. I think that's so cool. And the color of it is so vibrant. Like, look at that. And inside you've just, you've got a crossbody strap which I'll undo in a minute, and then it's just like one big kind of pouch. How gorgeous is that? And I think for the strap, we have to weave it, weave it through these. So let's have a look. I will undo this. And the, all these bags come, come in like such a range of colors. Like it's so versatile. So if you don't like the colors I've got, they literally do them in probably about 10 colors per style of bag. It's really, really amazing. Okay, this is the strap. This looks like a belt. Ooh, it's literally got a buckle on it. How on earth am I meant to put this on? Okay, I'm gonna guess that this weaves through here. Dun, dun, dun. Well, it weaves very easily through. I thought that was gonna be more fiddly. Okay, we've got the strap on. And then, I guess, oh, it's easy peasy. We just, Pick a length, put it in. I guess like that. And there you have it. A bag with a strap. No, and I really like how they've done the strap there, that it kind of goes underneath it, rather than having like two clips. I like that it's all green. There's no silver hardware, there's, there's no gold hardware, so you can wear this with literally any green outfit, regardless of what like color scheme your accessories are. That is just, gorgeous. I love this. Like, that is just so much fun. Very cool bag. So then the final bag is this one. Now, if I, I remember rightly, if I remember rightly, it's the same style as the dark green one, but in a different color. So, ooh. <laughs> look at this. So it's a brown and kind of like beige version of the dark green one that I showed you a few bags ago. So we can open this one up and de-tissue it. Wow, that's a lot of tissue in one bag. And it just rolls in. Look at that. Like with the right outfit, these are going to be such a statement kind of piece. Like, they're definitely more of an accessory than a practical bag, but they're gorgeous. And they definitely hold enough, like, all of these. My one thing with bags is I hate them when they don't hold my phone or wallet. Like, I have two clutch bags that, to be, they are beautiful and I am in love with them and I will have them forever, most likely, but they don't hold my phone and my wallet. It's one or the other, and it's like a massive pet peeve of mine. All my bags have, that's the bare minimum. But every, every year phones get bigger and my bags stay the same. So it's a bit of a tricky one to work around. But yeah, I like bags that are kind of a nice little size, but also practical and hold everything. But how gorgeous is that? So I decided to stack them all next to me. So I'm probably on very limited time here before they all fall down. But let's just appreciate how vibrant all the colors are and the variety of textures. I'm so impressed with the quality of this brand. Like. I really am. I had expectations, but they've exceeded them. They are really, really stunning pieces. And if you're looking for, you know, a statement piece to jazz up an outfit, give them a go. You won't regret having a really wacky, colorful bag. Like, take it from me. They just are so much fun. I really enjoy, like, wearing a kind of unusual piece. And yeah, some of them are more practical than others. So if you're like me and you prefer having straps for kind of everyday wear, they have those as well. You can still go for, like, crazy kind of pillow bags or satchels. No, I'm, I'm obsessed with these and I love the shape of some of them. They're just, they're really unusual and they have so many colors and so many more styles. Like this is just a tiny little glimpse of what they have to offer. So everything will be linked down below if you'd like to check them out. And remember they are made from recycled bottles, which is just kind of awesome really. So no, a massive shout out to JW Pay, Pie. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce their brand name. It's J-W-P-E-I. I'll write it on the screen. And I want to, like, uh, part of me wants to say pie, but I think it's pay. Pay? 
not 100% sure, so I, my apologies to the brand if they're watching this and just cringing to themselves, but no, they're a really fabulous company, and I mean just, they speak for themselves really, like, the colours, I'm obsessed. Anyway, everything will be linked down below, along with my social media if you'd like to check any of that out, but um, thank you again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time.